Welcome everyone, Farmer Cobb here. This is going to be the new mods for February 24th of 2021. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome to the mod review for today. Um, I'm not going to put any timestamps up on the screen for this one because there's only three new kind of equipment style mods and there's a few placeables. So there's not a whole lot going on. Um, we do have some cool mods, I will say that. At least there's one specific one that I'm very excited about, or a couple. But uh, anyhow, we are going to go into the updates in just a minute. But if you are skipping your head or trying to look for one specific mod, you can look down on the YouTube slider bar. They all should be tagged out down below there. So if you're looking for just one mod uh, to take a look at, feel free to do that. So uh, yeah, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the update. So first updates for today, we have updates to the Ursus 4 Cycle Pack by Karis. We have an update to the Heap Info by Earl of Modding. Update to Derek Zonka by Powell 20 an update to Welcome to Blue Mountain Valley uh, by TNT Modding. Um, and if you are wanting to hold on to your, uh, as it states there, unrealistic equipment, don't update that. Um, but yeah, just be aware of that. But uh, yeah, and again, I'm not gonna read the change logs, just pause the video if you wanna read those for yourselves. Uh, moving on from there, we have an update to the TLX 9000 by 82 Studio. We have an update to Universal Passenger by GTX, an update to your Universal Passenger uh, vehicle something or other <laughs> by GTX. An update to the uh, Beery Field Commander 28 uh, by Premium Power and Lucas 20. Um, and that is all of the updates for today. We have a couple of new uh, maps coming out. Um, so the first new map is um, Almost a Farm, which is by Cas64. I will be doing a mod review or map tour of that later on uh, today. So stay tuned to that. And then second up, we have uh, Chellington Valley is back on Mod Hub and it is released for all platforms. That is incredible. So definitely go grab that. And if you need to, uh, I have a map tour already done for that. Um, so feel free to check that out on the channel as well. And then continuing from there, we also got a uh, Dutch Colony Maze Plus version. So I already did a maze, a, um, a maze tour. I already did a mod review or a uh, map tour of Maze Plus or the D Dutch, not Maze Plus, of the Dutch Colony map. Um, so uh, feel free to check that out if you're looking to get around the map. But this one's just going to add the ability to kind of run Maze Plus a lot better on there. So um, definitely something worth checking out if that's what you're into. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the other new mods for today. All right, first up, I have these. This is the Lizard Weight Pack. This is by Agro Seba. This is 2.82 megabytes to download. And these are for PC and Mac players only. If I go into the store, these are going to be found under equipment, under weights. And then if we scroll all the way down to the very end here. Now you might say, okay, just a couple of weights. Fair enough. But... Hear me out on these ones. This one's 1,200 to buy, 1,800 to buy, uh, 1,000 kilograms, uh, 2,000 kilograms. These have a lot of customization. So uh, first off, let's go to the, the, the colors here. If I put blue on there, that's the symbol there. And if I can, I can go the orange on the weight or whatever I want to do, but actually let's do, because it'll show up better, the darker color. Now, if we take a look at that weight, stickers here. So we go from no to warning signs, warning signs two, agrarami, all the way through. I'm just going to try to we have case IH, different ones. And I think, do they have any on the side for these ones? The other one has them on the side as well, the other weight. But, and then we have to Fent. We did Dwight's Far, JCB. There's so many different brands in here. John Deere, Massey Ferguson. And again, you can match the colors too if you want. Steyr, Valtra. And I think Valtra's the last one. Yep, there you go. So then design here. In addition to that, we can have these. Now these go all the way up until, if I go back to the beginning here, all the way up until you get to this point here where you have four of them on there and you can adjust the colors down and three down. So you have a ton of customization, three on that side, so much ability to customize. I'm not gonna go through all those options, but you get the idea, there's tons you can do with that. Now if we go over to this one here, uh, very similar as far as the stickers go, you can go from, oh, not, this, not that one, the design, sorry, we'll do design first here. Uh, they go all the way up the sides for the reflectors there. Now, if I go back to, and then we can kind of slowly work our way up through them like we did before. If I turn those off, and again, we have the ability to adjust the design color to, well, anything on there, main color to anything on there. Um, doesn't matter a whole lot, but there you go. Stickers, and again, we can go all the way up to Valtra. And there's a couple other ones on here where you're now having some side stickers if you want as well. Just side stickers, those ones side stickers, nothing. 
There you go. So lots of different options on there. Uh, very customizable weights, which I think are fantastic. But other than that, they just hook up like normal weights and you're good to go. So yeah, there you go. Very nice weights. That is the Lizard Weight Pack by Agrosiba. Next up, we have the Lizard TASI 22T. Uh, this is by Insight and Design 3D and Farm Central Soul. This is 7.00 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. If you are on console, this is going to run you 12 slots. But let's go ahead and take a look in the store what it is. This is a sugarcane trailer, and thus it will be found under sugarcane technology down here at the very end. Right here, sugarcane trailer, so it's a high dump. It holds these crop types similar to other sugarcane trailers, so it does all those for you. 38,000, it says 180 horsepower required. If I go into here, I can adjust the main color to anything on there, which I've gone for like a red, and I can adjust that to anything on there if I want. Uh, under trailer board, you have standard and wide, which drop it down a little bit, but give you a little bit wider tread pattern. Under Michelin, you have standard and wides once again, and then you're back to trailer board. So there you go. It's a fairly expensive trailer, 89,000 starting price. So, um, but other than that, it's pretty sweet. So there you go. If you don't know how these work, Manually using a mouse, you can lift them up and then you can dump them over and they will start tipping onto the ground or whatever um, the case may be. So if I fill this up with, let's say, chaffle work, you can dump that onto the ground there or into another trailer, lower it back down. Yeah, pretty sweet. These things are very nice. I love using these for uh, forage harvests and stuff like that, but there you go. That is the Lizard TASI 22 ton. All right, next up we have the Luz HC. This is uh, by CG Production and CCL Modding. This is 5.91 megabytes to download, and this is for PC and Mac players only. This is gonna be found in the store under slurry tanks right there. So it's very similar to this guy. So this is a field tank. This holds 55,000 at 25,000 to buy. This one is 25,000 to buy as well, but holds a little less. So it just kind of depends on what style you want. Uh, hold manure or excuse me liquid manure or slurry or digestate uh, runs it or requires 50 horsepower um, it does say tsa 30,000 which i'm not sure what that is there let me look down here does it have anything i think that's just so you can hook it up to uh, refill it and do whatever you want to do yeah i don't see anything specific with it um, in the mod hub screenshots but um, that's probably just another one of the uh, one of the list the, the slurry spreaders in here or, or one of the different setups that you can get but anyhow we go into here in the store you can adjust the main color to anything on there the rim color you can adjust to literally anything design color you get a couple options in there so feel free to do whatever you want you can do less reflectors uh, narrow reflectors wide reflectors back to less reflectors so um there you have it it's a nice little design mod though i will say that take a look at it i have the lesser or the narrow reflectors narrow reflectors on here yep that's what i have open up the help menu X to unfold it just kind of sets it down onto the ground. X to fold it. F11, I can fill it up with, again, liquid manure. You can drive it around if you want, though you're supposed to fill it up in the field, but it's kind of whatever you want to do. X again to set it down. So it just kind of sits down there, and it's a way for you to be able to refill your slurry tanks um, out in the field. But there you have it. That is the Luz HC. All right, next up we have the silo for crops as we are on to placeables. This is by Bartso NV3 and Presmec23433. This is seven megabytes to download and this is for all platforms. If you're on console, this is gonna run you 13 slots. Now, if we go into the store, we'll find this under placeables, under silos, all the way down at the very end here. Silo for crops, 50,000 to buy, $10 a day maintenance, holds 80,000 liters of each of these crop types down here. So if we go up to it, I don't know if there's a unfoldability to it, but obviously you can get it out here. Over here, you can go in, so it doesn't look like... Oh, there we go. Cover the blower, so we can do that if we want to. Discover the blower. <laughs> cover and discover. I love it. Instead of uncover, I like that. But yeah, so you can cover that up, which is pretty neat. So there you go. Pretty neat there. You can do that. Um, yeah, it's a nice little grain silo, I think. Nicely detailed. But there you go. That is the silo for crops. All right, next up, we have these. These are placeable snow poles. These are by Chata Modding. These are 28 kilobytes to download. There are for all platforms. If you're on console, each pole is going to run you one slot. These are found in the store under decoration, right? Yep, there we go, $30 to buy. I got four placed out there, but there you go, which I think is actually kind of nice. I might use these on No Man's Land if you guys remember the last episode where I could not find the roads in the snow. But anyhow, there you go, those are the snow poles. All right, next up we have this guy, the Straw Men. This is by uh, Dare Mindener. This is 0.81 megabytes to download, and this is also for all platforms. This guy's going to run you a hardy four slots on console, uh, but yeah, it looks quite nice. 
<laughs> I love it. It's kind of funny. Um, this is going to be found also under decoration in the store. Right down here, 250 to buy. Uh, no maintenance costs. That doesn't have one either. Yep, no maintenance costs for either of those. So there you go. That is the uh, straw man. If you want to put that guy down, there you have it. All right, here we continue on with the old house mod. This is by K4Mill. This is 6.99 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. If you are on console, this is going to run you 25 slots to place. This is found in the store under farmhouses right there. 20000 to buy, $10,000 a day, or $10,000 a day. $10 a day in maintenance, not 10000 Oh, goodness. Can we go in? Nope. Sleep trigger right there. Good detail around it. I'm surprised it's that many slots for one you can't go in. But anyhow, there you have it. Got a lot of good detail to it. So that is the old house. All right, next up we have the new shed. This is by uh, Cuxi LX. This is uh, 1.83 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. This is going to run you four slots if you're on console, and this is going to be found in the store under sheds. If we scroll down right here, 10,000 to buy, $10 a day in maintenance. So there you go. I do like it. It's a nice little short, a little short on the, sh the shed side of things, but uh, small equipment and stuff, perfect for this. You can go this way on it or this way across. Um, it might even be designed to go in this way. Um, I probably just placed it wrong, but there you go. Um, yeah, it looks like that's how it is in the screenshot. So I just ignore me. I don't know how to place things, but there you go. That is the new shed. All right, next up, we have the Poland shed. This is by Arionic. This is 3.59 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. Though this is only going to run you three slots if you're on console, and this is going to be found in the store. Also under sheds, we scroll down right here, the Poland shed, 3,500 to buy, $12 a day in maintenance. So there you go. It's actually a nice little shed. Look at that. Yeah, not too bad. Little wood shed. But there you go. Might be just what you're looking for, the Poland shed. Next up on our quest to look at all garages and sheds in Farming Simulator, we have the small Polish garage. This is by Tomacek and Rafael5211. This is 8.81 megabytes to download. And this is for all platforms. If you are on console, this is going to run you 14 slots. So we take a look at it. It's going to be found in the store under sheds. Once again, we're getting very good at this shop category here. <laughs> this is the small Polish garage, 8,500 to buy, $5 a day. Man, I swear that's all that's come out yesterday and today. It's just a bunch of sheds. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, but it's just kind of funny. Uh, anyhow, okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look inside of these guys. So all the doors should open up, including that side door. Well, I like that they're kind of sectioned out a little bit. So you can come in here, park something in there. Come into here. Got a couple more garages there. Little side entrance over here. There you go. Light switch, theoretically. Yep, there we go. They're all coming on. Fantastic. There you go. That is the small Polish garage. All right, next up in our final barn, shed, garage, and mod for the day is the Timber Barns. This is by Mappers Paradise. These are 7.71 megabytes to download, and these are for all platforms. Uh, we'll take a look at them and slot counts inside the store here. These are both located under sheds, if I remember correctly. Yep, here we go. The wooden shelter is going to run you seven slots, and this is going to run you somehow less slots, or no. Yeah, more slots at nine. Nine slots. Interesting. That one I feel like has more detail, but hey, I don't assign the slot counts. There you go. Both $15,000 to buy, both $5 a day of maintenance. Let's go ahead and check them out real quick. This guy right here, I don't know if that top one opens up. Doesn't look like it would. Maybe? Maybe it would. Nope, opens that guy. Are there any screenshots of them going in? Yeah, that does open up. Definitely opens up. Just got to get up there. Hmm. Anyhow, the rest of the, the rest of it looks great. Oh, here we go. That's how we can get up there. Hey, it's all coming together now. There we go. <laughs> oh gosh, the stairs at the back. There we go. That's pretty cool. Oh, is that a light switch right there? Yes. There we go. Lights on. We got a nice little light there. Is there a light up there? Yeah, light upstairs as well. Nice. I like that actually. <laughs> nice little, nice little wood barn there. Then going over here, we got this guy. Which does have any light switches? Yeah, right there. Snugged away in the corner. Did I miss it? Switch light on. There we go. Got it. And then a couple of decorative straw bales on the back side there. Otherwise, there's the bar. Back of this guy. There you go. That is the... Oh gosh, I scrolled down on my map here. Timber Barns. That is the Timber Barns pack by Mappers Paradise. 
And without further ado, that is the end of this mod review for today. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you all for coming and watching.